How can I develop my magical abilities? Как можно развить в себе магические способности? Вот, Натали, так как я... Well, Natalie, same as with the colleague who can't unpack the received information. The success of gradual release of one's subtle bodies from the clutter of everyday life and past life, from existence in an aggressive or culturally specific environment that imposes its own restrictions, or a religious environment that also imposes its own restrictions on the rules and the rights to develop one's own consciousness. Now, this can happen overnight as a sort of self-initiation. Or it can be a very long process of pulling out the threads of understanding and studying oneself bit by bit, micron by micron. Everyone has their own path. This path is always easier when you have support, a mentor. A mentor can be someone from the human race, or a teacher of a non-human race, such as your own God, your own Numenon, a guide of yours that helps you walk this path, for example, by taking the shortest, fastest route. Still, you will have to walk this route. Cases when someone goes to bed and awakens as a mage are extremely rare in human history. And these are most likely exceptions rather than the rule. Everyone else must study, labor a lot and work hard. The more you learn, the stronger you get. The more you work on yourself, without holding back or making excuses, the better your chances of success will be. The practice and the work, as well as the entire learning system in my school, is designed to achieve precisely this particular result, going from the simple to complex by the gentlest of means. For this exact reason, the program and techniques are built around the principle of doing no harm. But you are always free to introduce something extra if you want to speed up your learning process. For example, magical stimulants, such as runes, are excellent in this regard, as they help to shake up the hardened consciousness, allowing one to understand much more in terms of volume. Runic staves, runic mantics, the more you put your consciousness in contact with the facets of the other world, the faster you change, as any change occurs in an environment. Therefore, as you read more magical literature, even its fantasy or fiction, because these genres also deal with the development of consciousness, the more you engage in mentalism, the more you communicate with your colleagues who have walked this path in some manner, the more your environment begins to contribute to your goal and your development. Just keep in mind that once you set the goal of magical transformation, you can't step off this path. Well, you can, but it would hardly be called life anymore. I'm not sure what could be the reason for doing this, but it does happen, so they say. Therefore, once you start your magical development, remember that there is no turning back.